it's just it's as much about where you don't put your fly as where you do put it. Now I'm racing a natural. There's one right beside me. On this edition of Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup, we're on Idaho's Henry's Fork River with hopes of finding the salmon flies hatching. There he is. Yeah, baby. Get out of there. Come here. I can hold a high rod tip, keep as much line off the water as possible to get a good clean drift. Kelly teams with one of the region's top guys, Doug Pauly, and this crusty pair use all their skills to bring bulging rainbows up to their giant bugs. I mean, one of my favorites is the water walker. I mean, Skinny, Skinny's rowing the other boat over there. Skinny said he hates the chubby because he didn't invent it. It's so simple. But the thing You'll get plenty of looks at salmon flies, both artificials and the real thing, as our duo search for exactly the right offering to get the overfed trout to eat. We're gonna drop her on this thing. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tie it off right on the bend of the hook. It shouldn't be too long before they get on the dry, but I'm gonna run a, one of Doug's Mega Princes about two foot below this. Just You'll see how they configure their rigs for both dries and dries and droppers. Kelly even takes the time to show you how to tweak a pattern when the light changes. And all we're, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Sharpie and we're gonna knock it down no more than what I just did right there. I mean, I simply went pop, 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 pow and hit it and I left a little bit of an orange stripe down its belly, nothing more. This episode's excerpt from the Fly Fish TV how-to video library comes out of high sticking and reading water. You'll learn why a high rock can be the key to picking apart a small piece of water. All right, they're going downstream. You notice I'm turning with them, and I'm always, see my rod tip, it's above my indicators. They're not up here. If I put my line up here, if I throw it up here and just do a mend and stand here like this, one, I got all this slack down there, and two, the flies are getting dragged unnaturally. They're, get, they're starting to do an arc. So you always keep your rod tip under or above your indicator if you can, just like this. We'll return to the Henry's Fork to close the show to see our dynamic Watch. duo try to fool one more chubby rainbow with their giant salmon flies. Oh yeah! Got your ass. Oh, I'm in trouble. Yeah. That's a belly. That's just a handful of salmon flies right there. Fantastic. All this coming up on Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gal. Nice work, dude. We never <laughs> got to the fish that you were saying, did we? Uh, you know, I have people moving around me. Yeah. We haven't gotten to the good part yet. Was there?